Our guest today has a lot to say about the Internet. Uh, I've known Virginia Heffernan's name uh, ever since she reviewed Twit in the very earliest days uh, as a media reporter at the New York Times, where she still covers media. In fact, she, uh, we're, we're stealing her away from her job today because she's supposed to be watching the GOP convention and reporting on it from the New York Times. Uh, she has written a brand new book uh, that is called Magic and Loss, The Internet as Art. Gwyneth Paltrow says, Virginia Heffernan is one of the writers I most admire. Hi, Virginia. Nice to have you. Hi there. Hi. Wow. Um, are you I like buddies? You, I don't need, I, yep. With, Gwyneth and I are buddies. Nice. She lives in Brooklyn, right? <laughs> she, I don't know where she lives, and we are not buddies. That came out of nowhere. Um, I don't know what that means exactly. But yes, I live in Brooklyn, and I promise not to speak about its many glories because I feel like Brooklyn has, has um, tooted its own horn, played its own loud ukulele for the world to hear too long. Um, but I've lived here a long time, so that's my excuse. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a fan of, the, of your work, and I, I have to confess, I haven't read this yet. And I, ha and I also confess that when I thought the Internet is art, it seemed a little uh, odd. What, first of all, what do you mean by art, and how do you make the yeah. Internet art? Well, both um, both the word internet and the word art are up for grabs, and that's what I liked about it. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I issue some very non-scientific statements in the book, so there's nothing in it. I, I just, I decided that I didn't want that. I wanted, a, I wanted provocations in the book, right? Yeah. I wanted you to ask yourself. I wanted us to interrogate our own experience of this phenomenon, the internet, that's you know barreling along. And mostly the notes that we make on it are, I hate myself for loving this, or I hate myself for using this. And I wanted to make a different kind of note. And I wanted us to slow down a little bit and see, try to see what's happening here. So I break in the book, I, and this is somewhat arbitrary. I use, as you know, you've teased me about, I have a somewhat classical education. I can't fully say it's classical. My father points out that my Latin is terrible. Um, <laughs> hey, the but, fact that you uh, have Latin to be terrible is pretty good. That, that a person has Latin is a, like yeah. also old fashioned. Yeah. yeah. But um, no, my, my emoji is much better than my Latin. Um, <laughs> but, um, well, but emojis great. don't have declensions and conjugations, so it's much easier. Oh my God, are those are so hard. Yeah. So I, um, um, I break the book into five sections that designate the arts as we sort of inherit from ancient Greece. I just figured the the internet is so oceanic, you know, it's so gigantic that there's no way not to map it onto some of the great civilizations of the past. It would be silly to compare it just to network television right. or just to you know, a um, another corporation, like comparing Google to Procter & Gamble makes no sense to me. So comparing it to ancient Greece, I break it down. I'm looking to remind myself into design. So that's something like architecture um, in, in, uh, in the ancient world. Text, which, you know, would be poetry, plays, images, which would be, you know, later frescoes, but all kinds of two-dimensional images. Um, video. Now, there wasn't as much exposure to YouTube as you might imagine in Athens um, <laughs> in the BC years. But um, yeah, it's something Google just didn't penetrate backward in time the way it should have. But video captures for me performance and um, and a certain kind of athleticism that were part of the arts in, in ancient Greece. And then music. And what it does with each of these um, kinds of, you know, elements of experience, each of these um, collections of artifacts, is clock their, the magic that they've brought to the world, which is a term I get from engineering, and the loss that they've visited on us, the feeling of grieving. Um, and for that one, I pay a spe special attention to the compression technology that, uh, <laughs> you know, in music, the MP3 compression. that um, Lossy compression, I must point out. That's right lossy compression that's where i get the word loss what is lost in that in that compression i spend a long time talking to and reading about um vinyl fanatics live music fanatics they say the emotion is actually extracted when you extract those little bits from music some people call whatever that thing that's lost 
um, you know, and technically what might be lost is some of the blurriness of the base. You know, it could be something as simple as that, or people just love that, that hairy sound of the needle on the record, yeah. associate it with nostalgia. But in any case, they tend to um, denigrate the MP3 experience, even though, of course, we all listen to compressed music like that. As um, Sorry about the beeps here, but I'm not that's okay. winning getting them out. But um, in any case, um, so that's the law. So what I'm taking the measure of that kind of grieving that you hear from everyone, not just from, you know, hipsters who have flip phones now and, you know, take whole years off from Facebook to, you know, do eat, pray, love or whatever. And not from just from grandparents who are like, we never sit down and have conversations anymore. Yeah. They're always texting. Um, because I, though I feel both of those impulses, um, I also think that, you know, on some level, we all feel that in a, maybe in a more minor way. It's interesting to hear about what people miss from analog analog days. Although the irony of, uh, you know, nostalgia on the internet is it kind of boils down to things like you remember flappy bird weren't those oh. weren't those great times right. that six months ago that <laughs> yeah remember <laughs> all the poetry around pokemon go i'm so sad, sad that's gone. yeah it's only a few that weeks away 9th, that right? pokemon go nostalgia yeah. is just any minute now <laughs> 